welcome. We're going to play Parkita, the dreaded. Actually, to you. Ah, sorry, give it a go. This game's kind of been given to me by the developers. First of all, I changed the uh, UI, the actual text in this game. It's really tiny when you start. You can see it. I've got bad device size to this. This is much better. You can make it as big as you want. To a certain degree, of course, you don't want it too big. Otherwise, you never see what's going on, do you? It'll just be kind of a maze of text, and you won't be able to see the map. It'll be stupid. So, I'm using my PS5 controller's mic, which isn't very good. I have to invest in a decent microphone, I think. Uh, maybe even a camera, that'd be good. But we're going to go try this very well informed tutorial. It does help a lot. Again, the uh, pictures and everything on the screen are quite small, but readable for me, with my glasses on. Yeah, I can see just, just about what's good. Uh, but I've, there's a lot to read. I have to take this step by step. It's going to take a little while to master this game. So far, I'm like, it's, you know, challenging game, but it's a fun, chill out game. It's a hell of a lot better than The Sims, I tell you that. And I've played lots of Sim games, but this is, uh, uh, well, it just reminds me of the old, the old school uh, Sim games. Especially, uh, ooh, Roller Coaster Sim, stuff like that. You know, I never really liked those because they were just too uh, boring after a while. Once you've unlocked everything, that's it. So I turned off the in-game music because obviously there might be uh, no way of monetizing this game, the gameplay, especially when I'm going to do two or three videos on this, including the giveaway. So look out for that. I do have a spare code, and I'll be giving it away for this channel. Hmm. Again, thanks to the devs for that. It's pretty good. I, I do like this. The tutorial is kind of straightforward, but again, things like this. I was trying to press R three, and I, I couldn't see where where the rock was going. So I'm going to try and put this little rock right here. And last time I tried this, I I didn't really get it. I still don't. I'm st I'm doing it wrong again. But we're gonna we're gonna persevere. And that's what you've got to do. Put the time in, the hours in, and eventually everything will be perfect. So I'm gonna slap that in there. Yeah, so press R three and up and down by this. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, I get it. Oh, I've got two rocks now. Well, uh, <laughs> well, we'll we'll delete that. I'll be fine. Delete that one there. Goodbye. Oh, delete them both. All right, so that's the building control. So it's teaching you step by step the mechanics of the game which is useful especially for an idiot like me I'm going to stick on Eagle Fairground ride now so it's the first ride that's the next tutorial uh, let's have a look at all the rides well, hopefully this isn't all the rides maybe there's more I'll have to check up but that's good carousal everyone likes the carousal the music of the rides is decent as well Obviously, I'm trying to get near the path and realise I have to put it in where the tutorial's telling me to. The flashing square. There we go. <laughs> what am I doing? Rusty. Okay. So now we need a gate. People got to pay. So, uh, so there. That's 150. I'm not going to be like Alton Towers and charge you a fortune. Fortune to get in. And then all the rides are free. Oh my God, it's expensive. It's not exactly Disney World, is it? I'm going to Disney World next February, believe it or not. It's the first time ever. I'm looking forward to that. And it will be a vlog. Oh, yes. First decent holiday vlog, hopefully. So that'll be fun. Right, so there's the exit. Getting off the topic now. And we need a, obviously a queue. So we'll go to the paths. Uh, okay, there's one for staff. There's one for the queue. So that's cool. All right. I do prefer keyboard and mouse, to tell you the truth. But using playing these games with a controller isn't fun. I do prefer keyboard and mouse. I do have a wireless keyboard and mouse. It'll probably work with the PS5. But to be honest, uh, I've got it working on Steam Deck at the moment. So I'm not going to drag that away. I'm going to have to persevere with my new controller. Good. Right, finances. Oh, this is what I usually dread. Normally, I just it's just luck with finances. 
Here we go. I hate wheels. Pain. So we always select the wrong one. Right, research. So, okay. Research team through rides monthly. So I guess that means I'll get. I've upgraded through rides. New through rides. I don't know. I have to do some homework on that. I'm not really. On, well, not really sure with the. Uh, with the research, what it actually does. I'll look into that when I do the review. Okay then. So that's fine. Now we've got to look at shops, haven't we? The finances are simple enough anyway. Okay. So ticket prices. The rides. I pause the game as well. It's like 9,498. So I've got a lot of money. I guess when I just go plant in rides everywhere. It's going to cost a lot of money, obviously. But this is just a tutorial map. These rides were created specifically for training you and me, the noob. There we go. Finances. That's the scariest part of all sim games. I do hate the finance part. Ooh. I think my tip is just to uh, well, not take a loan. <laughs> I've, never, I've never taken loan in any game. Maybe a football manager game, but never for any sim game. I don't trust loans. I always lose. Shops, okay. Da, da, da. Hungry and thirsty, so shops, there's the entrance. Alright, so I've got, that's a, I've got a flashing spot, so that's obviously for a shop. We should go for pizza, maybe? We have pizza. Yeah, there we go. Pizzas. I like pizzas. There we go. We'll need the staff path, I guess, because that's obviously uh, where all the deliveries are, are dropped off. And obviously, we need a path to get to the shop. Oh, there we go. And that will show us where the staff have to go to drop off the food. Which will, okay, we'll hire staff first, of course. And then you drop them down, and away they go off to work. We can task them later, I guess. All right, okay, looking good. Uh, so look here, pass. Okay, dirt, employee pass. So we go with that. Okay, that's simple. Right, okay then. Well done. Food creates trash, so bins. Bin's already there, but this is the tutorial. Go to decor and obviously, wow, look at that. It's loads of stuff. I hope there's more than this. I'd be really impressed if there's more content than this. Again, I'll let you know in the review. <laughs> and you can zoom in as well with the right thumbstick and rotate with the left and right thumbsticks and zoom in and out using the left thumbstick. And you know, just basically, it's really, really good. Well, so far, I'm going as slow as I can because I was handling this game as we go along. All right. Okay, just reading it very. Da, 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 and park is small. Okay. Stocking shops cost. Right, okay. So that bit we'll come back to. The so stock is another, another thing I've got to learn. So we can expand, expand further, that's good. Right. Paths and stuff and signs and where to put everything. This bit's going to be a bit tricky. Right, back onto the wheel. I do hate wheel menus. The depot. Oh, no, it's on the front. Trying to get it. There we go. Struggle in there. Okay. Rubbish gotta go somewhere. Deliveries, etc. So we're gonna, all this is going to go along this path, I guess. It's not cheap, is it? Uh, 
delivering stuff via tubes. Okay, there we go. See, it's learning. Makes the game fun. There we go. Perfect. Underground tubing done, so we can supply everywhere. Well, general public can see. That's pretty cool. More shops. supplied by this depot. So I guess we've got to select that. Ah! <laughs> Turkey legs. That must be definitely a, an American thing. You wouldn't get that in the UK. We don't sell turkey legs like that. Huge turkey legs. Let's go down here and just have a look at what we got. Right. Lots of stuff again. Depot. Let's swivel around. There we go, that's where I'm going wrong. <laughs> oh god. So we're going to deliver. Okay, and the staff member delivering stuff already, so that's good. Okay, trial and error. Okay, so select depot and then you select the shots. Okay. Got there in the end. That took a few minutes, my brain wasn't really uh, sussing that out. But God, there's two tools. This bit I just didn't get. There are three things. It still isn't working. So let's put that problem there. At least with staff, you can tell them where to go and select which areas they cover. That's also good. I prefer if you actually put the staff directly into there. And then obviously send them off to be trained or whatever. that comes later. I'll have to take a good look at all the extra stuff you get in this game. That'd be cool. But this is the, uh, the full version of the game. This is the overlay I was talking about earlier. Very good way of finding out what, how everything's going, where everything's supposed to be, where the deficiencies are, where there's problems. So that is good. It's a very good overlay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so the overlays told me where the decor can be placed and automatically removes the red where it was an eyesore and a green where it's lovely. So that's good. I like that. The overlay's really handy. Well, guys, check this game out. It's really, really good. I'm going to carry on playing the tutorial. There's a lot to learn. I'll see you on release day, which is Monday, the 1st of July. Uh, until then, thanks for watching. And I'll carry on, give you a little bit of extra gameplay from because I'm sure a lot of you will uh, buy this game on release because it's pretty good. But at the moment, I'm going to have to stop playing because my house rabbit, I have a house rabbit, and she's attacking my feet, and it's not very pleasant. The truth. So I'm going to end it right now. And hopefully, you'll get this game too. It's really good. Look out for the giveaway so look out for that so thanks for watching i will see you soon with another video on this very game so look out for this on release on monday the first of july there'll be more gameplay a review the following day or hopefully the same day if i manage to get a few hours in i want to get a good feel for this game and obviously show you some of the uh, really cool rides that this game has featured and the sounds, everything is great. Music obviously muted because of uh, usual YouTube rubbish. Don't like me playing music that's owned. And yeah, look out for that. At the moment I'm going to put some janitors up here to clean up uh, what looks like puke, I guess. Or spilt drinks, I think it's puke. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, 
thumbs up, whatever you'd like to do. So we'll see you. I'll see you soon.